Hot Doodle Help. The Calendar Block. The Calendar Block lets you organize events by date. Let's click the Calendar Block type to see the different views we can choose from. The default view is a monthly calendar that shows the name of each event inside a calendar table. The Future Events view will only display events that have not yet occurred in a list format. The Mini Calendar is a monthly calendar that shows days but no event entries. Days that are highlighted can be clicked on to view what events are occurring that day. A monthly list is simply a list of events by date as opposed to a full-fledged calendar like in the default view. Past events will only show events that have not yet occurred in a list format. Finally, the weekly view will also display events in a list, but events will be displayed by week instead of by month. You can always come back and change the view of any block by editing or configuring that block and clicking the View button right here. Let's select the default view and then Save. Now we can select Configuration Properties. If you would like events to be sorted by categories, check Enable Categories. This will allow different events to be displayed in different colors, depending on the category. Enabling Feedback lets you add email addresses that can be contacted for certain events. Visitors can then fill out a form to leave feedback, which will then be emailed to whoever's email address you provide. Setting a value for max events will set the maximum number of events that will be displayed at a time in list views. This setting applies to list views only, and by default, a value of 0 means 30 events. The number of days box will set up how many days to display in the past or future. By default, a value of 0 means 90 days. If you want the details of an event to appear in the list views, then check the Show Event Details box. If you check the Ignore Category Colors box, event titles will not be colored according to their categories, if you created any. If you want to consolidate your calendar when in a list view, you can check Don't Show Times. This will allow for a more compressed list. Don't Show Editing will hide the Edit Event button next to each event. This will make the website appear to be much cleaner if you have a lot of events and don't want the edit button to appear everywhere while you're in edit mode. Now click save so we can begin adding events. Since we enabled categories, we must first create a category, so click add category. Simply enter the category name and choose a color for that category. I'll type birthday parties and make it green. Now click save. In the category list, you can see birthday parties has been added, along with its category color. This is a hexadecimal value for the color, which you don't need to worry about unless you're an advanced user. You can edit the category name or color at any time by clicking Edit. Now return to the main page to add an event. Here you can see is our calendar block. Click Create Event at the bottom of the calendar. At the top, you can choose if you want the event to be under a category. I'll select Birthday Parties. Enter an event title, Melissa's birthday party, and then event details. Come celebrate Melissa's birthday party at our house on 12345 Main Street. Select the event date by clicking the calendar icon and selecting a date. We can click the double arrow to go to the previous year or the single arrow to go to the previous month. And here we can click to go to the next month or next year. If you want to select today's date and the calendar has not already done so, you can click Today. I'll set the date as Saturday, May 31st. Next, you can check if it will be an all-day event. This birthday party will be from 2 to 6 p.m., so you can leave that unchecked and select 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. If this event were to occur more than once, we could select How Often through this drop-down menu, and then select for how long it would recur. We had enabled feedback, so here we can type an email address to which all feedback for this event will be forwarded. Click Save, and you'll see the event right there on the calendar. And it's in green because we selected green as the birthday party's category color. To see more details for the event, click on it. Here you can see the event, its timings, and details. You can view other events by clicking the buttons at the top. We finished covering the calendar block, an easy way to organize your events. Remember,
If you want to have a calendar on multiple pages of your website, you can use the Copy Block feature from the control bar as shown in the Working with Blocks tutorial video. You can set all the copies as mirrored so that changes you make to one calendar block will be updated to all of them. You can also choose to have some of the calendar blocks have different views. They will all have the same events and categories, but simply display them in a different manner.